One last question I like to ask all our guests is what tool do you like to use in your day-to-day -day life a lot, which has some AI implemented? Yeah. Can I, can I pick multiple? Yeah, because, sure, go ahead. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, say a builder's house is never finished. And certainly as someone who works in generative AI, there's so many tools out there. There's some that I use all the time and some that I love to learn. Certainly the ones that I'm using frequently are our own co-pilots. So every document that I create now, I use the co-pilot to help me bring information together in our M365 to summarize the document and create it. I've been most recently playing with deep research from OpenAI as well where I can give it, hey, here's the spec that I want written. Here's my customer evidence that I have compiled. Here's my backlog of information, and it will generate a full spec for me, which is amazing. And then I'll use actually a software agent as part of GitHub Copilot to create a little sample working code for my developers to begin that process of engineering. And so those tools as a product builder are some of the tools I rely on. I also recently went on vacation, and I just started playing with some of the tools that are not Microsoft, that are out there on the internet as well. And I was amazed by what you can do in the UI with tools like Vercel AI, with adaptive AI UIs, how you can quickly get started on a, on a software project with Vault.new. You know, just give it a prompt and it will create the basic Python working code for you. It's just amazing. And then the simplicity of make.com, very much like our own Copilot Studio, to be able to drag and drop components and wire them together. Those basic building blocks are becoming so sophisticated and yet so simple. I was really inspired on how the, the journey is going to be not just for professional developers, but for people like me who are actually not a coder by training, but our PMs, our product managers, our, our information workers. It's going to be amazing.